Welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at Scarface 1920. This is a 1 to 4 player hand management area influence mafia game where you take the role of a gang boss in Chicago in the 1920s trying to have the most money. Now let's take a look at the components. You have the main board. On the main board you have districts. Across the bottom you have jobs, dealers, associates, and the underworld with a key. At the top of the board you have authorities and a key, time track, news, prison, raids, the crime rate track, job cards, these have a type and then an effect and requirement, dealer cards, these have thug limits, storage, requirement, and supply. Associate cards. These have muscle, influence, the type, and skill and matching skill. News cards. These have an ongoing effect. Raid cards. These have overall effects and effects based on your level and the crime reduction. Solo mode cards. Solo tokens. Neighborhood tiles. These have defense, storage, recruitment, and profit, family ring for hiring associates, time marker, Elliot Ness figure, police figures, business markers, guns, alcohol, money, gang screens, gang boards, this has your boss track and stat upgrades, boss figure, thug figures, truck figures, car figures, Control markers, crime rate marker, gang upgrade cube, gang members, these have muscle influence type and the effect, thug boards, you have slums, safe houses, and headquarters, player aids, and finally your rule book. Now let's take a look at the setup. We're going to be setting this up for a three player game which takes 25 steps. Step one, place the main board in the center of the play area. Step two, create supply pools. Place the money, business markers, alcohol, guns, and family ring beside the main board. Step three, shuffle and place the raid deck face down in their corresponding space on the top right of the board. Step four, shuffle and place the job cards face down on the bottom left. Step five, shuffle and place dealers. Set aside the gun and alcohol dealers, one through eight. Shuffle the rest and place them face down on their space next to the jobs. Step six, shuffle and place one to three star associates. You'll shuffle the one to three star associates and place them face down at the bottom of the board. You'll draw the top three for the spaces to the right and then reveal the top two cards and place them face up on top of the deck. Step seven, shuffle and place four to five star associates. Shuffle and place face down at the bottom of the board. Draw one and place it next to the deck. Then reveal one and place it face up on the top of the deck. Step eight, place Elliot Ness figure at the start space on the crime track. Step nine, place police in the far south, far north, and central districts. Step 10, place neighborhood tiles. For a three player game, you will place three in the central and one in each other district. Step 11, randomly place a speakeasy, brothel, or casino marker on each tile. Step 12, place a time marker based on the number of players. Step 13, Place Voted Dry News Card in Active News. Step 14, create the news deck. Place Prohibition Ends face down on the bottom in the news area, then shuffle and draw two to place on top of that card face down. Step 15, choose a first player. The last to watch a gangster movie is the first player. Step 16, choose a color and get player components. Get a boss figure, gang board, gang member cards, thug board, thug figures, car figures, truck figures, gang upgrade cubes, control marker, crime rate marker, and a gang screen. Step 17, place your gang board in the center of your player area with the upgrade cubes and boss figure on your boss track. Step 18, place thugs. Place the thug board above your player board with six in the slums, two in the safe houses, and four in the headquarters. Step 19, place your screen and get 10 in money behind your screen. Step 20, place the markers, cars, and trucks next to your player board. Step 21, place the crime rate marker on one. 
Step 22, create and draw gang members. Set aside your right hand cards, shuffle the rest and place face down and then draw the top three to form your hand. Step 23, place control. In reverse turn order, place a truck or car in a region with no police and place a control marker on a neighborhood tile. You can only place one control marker per tile. Step 24, draw three job cards as unfulfilled jobs. Step 25, get an alcohol and gun dealer card to place in your player area face up. Then get two between guns and alcohol and place one in each deal. Return the rest of the gun and alcohol dealer cards to the box. Now let's take a look at the gameplay. A game consists of a number of player turns until the Prohibition End News card is revealed. A player's turn. In order, players will take turns based on the cards in your hand. Action or reorganization. And if you start your turn with the family ring, you will get a number of money based on the number of players. For the action turn, if you have cards in your hand or deck, you will carry out four steps. Step one, lay out your plan. Play any number of cards from your hand. If you play greater than two, you would go up the crime rate track one for each card above two. If a raid is triggered, carry out that raid immediately. Keep in mind that you're playing these for muscle and influence. Step two, carry out actions. In any order, you will carry out skills from cards, jobs to fulfill or activate, and one order. In the step three, draw new cards. Discard your playing cards and draw up to your hand size. Keep in mind that you will not reshuffle if your deck runs out. And then step four, the next player's turn. Now let's take a look at the orders. Starting with the underworld. You would send a thug from your headquarters to the underworld, and then you would increase your crime rate by a number that you have in the underworld now. Then you would choose an underworld order. The five types of orders for the underworld are recruit, move thugs a number of spaces equal to your influence on the thug board. The second possible underworld order is to get a job. You would draw jobs equal to your influence and keep one to place. The third, get a dealer. Draw dealers equal to your influence, keep one, and then place as a new deal or tuck it under an existing deal for an expanded deal. The fourth, sell in a neighborhood. Make a number of sales less than or equal to your influence. Choose a neighborhood. Spend resources to gain the money. These resources can be taken from neighborhoods, deals, or jobs. And you would pay two per cop in the neighborhood. The fifth, hire an associate. You would take an associate less than or equal to your influence and you would add it to your discard or pay alcohol to add it to your hand. One for one to three star or two for four to five star. Then you would refill the market and take the family ring. Authorities orders. You would send a thug from your HQ to the authorities. Then you would choose an authority order. There are five types of authority orders. The first, to remove control markers. Remove one control marker for every five influence. The second, reduce your crime rate. Reduce your crime rate equal to the influence, up to one level above Elliot Ness. The third, add business markers. You would add one business marker for each influence. You would take one from the general supply and place it on the neighborhood tile. Keep in mind that tiles can have at most three, and the nightclub is only after upgrading. The fourth, retrieve your thugs from prison. You must have greater than or equal to two influence, and you would take all your thugs from prison. And the fifth, sell to authorities. Sell alcohol or guns up to your influence for six each. Then we have other orders. There are five types of other orders. The first, send thugs to districts. Take up to the muscle level of thugs from your headquarters and place it in any district with your presence. Keep in mind that you pay two per police per thug that is placed in a district. Also, influence is any of your car tokens or thugs. The second, move cars, trucks, or thugs. Move a number of cars, trucks, or thugs up to your muscle number. Cars and trucks to any district and the thugs to adjacent unless they are accompanied by a car or truck. 
Keep in mind that you would pay two per police per figure in the district move to. The third sees one neighborhood. Choose a rival neighborhood or neutral where you have presence. The muscle must be greater than or equal to the total defense. The defense is two for a control marker, one for each cop, one for each opponent thug and or car, minus one for your thug and or car. Then, if you seize the neighborhood, you would return their control marker and place one of yours on the tile. The fourth gets supply from deals. Choose a deal with less than or equal to muscle or influence, place a thug from your headquarters on the deal, and then get the supply. Then store it on any of your deals or neighborhoods. And the fifth other action is upgrade your gang. The influence and muscle must meet the requirement on the gang board. You would spend the money for the stat, take the cube, move your boss, place the cube on the stat, and increase the crime rate if necessary. For a reorganization turn, if you have no cards in your hand or your deck, you would carry out seven steps. Step one, sell in each of your neighborhoods. One for each spent alcohol and or guns to gain the money. Keep in mind that trucks spend one less, and each of the cop figures require two in money for bribes. Step two, gain three for each business you control. Step three, retrieve thugs. Step four, recruit as many thugs as on your boss stat, moving them from slums to safe houses to headquarters. Step five, shuffle your deck and draw up to your hand limit. Step six, advance the time marker one space to the right. Step seven, the next player's turn. During the extra extra time phase, you would carry out five steps. Step one, carry out a raid. You would put all the thugs from the underworld in prison. Reveal the top raid card, resolve the overall effect. Apply the appropriate effect to each player based on their crime rate, and then reduce their crime rate by the level indicated at the bottom. Then you would discard the raid card. This also occurs if a player's marker reaches the top level on the crime rate track. Step two, increase Elliot Ness level by one. If on the same space as a player, you must move them one space above. Step three, refresh the associate market. Discard the last cards in each one to three and four to five to the bottom of their deck and then slide down and reveal the top card of each deck. Step four, reveal the next news card and it is active. If it is prohibition ends, then the game would end. Then step five, return the time marker to the start time space. Then player's turns will continue until the prohibition ends news is revealed. We would then go to the final scoring. Final scoring takes four steps. Step one, total the number of money behind your screen. Step two, get three for each business marker you control. Step three, you get two for each associate. And step four, any in-game money effects. Then the player with the most money is the king of Chicago and wins Scarface 1920.